Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you very much for joining me for today's Christmas in July vlog hop. So this is very exciting. This is probably the first vlog hop I have done in a very long time. So I'm super excited about this one. Plus it's for Christmas too. And you all know how much I love Christmas. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous box using the kit from Die Cutting Essentials 84. And I also have some information on a competition as well. So let me go straight to the competition first. If you want to skip straight to how to make this, you can just skip along to that. But if you actually want a chance in winning something, then stay tuned. Okay, so to enter this video, uh, sorry, to enter this competition, you need to like and subscribe to this channel and also to the Crafts Dash channel. And I'll leave this all these written instructions down below as well. So it's all there in writing so you can have a look. Now, the prize is a £50 bundle from my Simply Made Crafts range. And that will close on the 15th of July. And also the prizes, the prizes will be sent out after the new products have launched on the 8th. So it'll be after sometime after that date. And uh, anything else I took? Oh, there's also a grand prize as well, a £100 um, voucher to spend on the Craft Stash exclusive ranges as well. But again, everything is written down in the description box along with everything that I've used today. Now, I don't think I have missed anything out. If there's anything I have missed out in this, I will make sure it's written down below. Right, so now that housekeeping is done, let's jump straight into this one. So this is issue um, Die Cutting Essentials 84, and this is the cover gift here. This is the Simply Made Crafts cover gift. So you get this lovely little stamp set here, and also these tiny little dies. So you can make these little jumpers here, you can decorate them. There are so many different things that you can make with this and I do have a feature that I'll be showing you in a moment and the box that you can make with it so there's also um, some papers to download I'll go through those and also some toppers as well so I will leave the links for this down below right so here are some of the papers I've printed them all off so we have this lovely navy snowy theme and then we have these leaves here so these are going to be perfect for any time of year so um, this one here is labelled uh, Mistletoe Kisses and Christmas Wishes. And when we get to the toppers, there'll be some winter birthday things as well. So again, this will take you through to spring and also the winter birthdays. Again, this will make a lovely winter birthdays here. And I'm all about, um, at the moment, um, non-traditional Christmas colours, if that makes sense. So I'm really into um, like the pinks at the moment. That's a small hint for what is coming up. So we have the pink stripes there, and then we have this lovely festive snowy um, snowy scene there on the green, and then we have like a Nordic feel there with the gray and the white, and then we have a geometric as well. So again, you can mix and match these if you didn't really want to go for a Christmas look. If you just wanted a little winter look, absolutely perfect doesn't have to be Christmas okay and then we have the toppers here so we have warm and cozy we have another jumper here which is just a little slightly smaller version of that and let's stay home and snuggle scent with love sweater weather so some of these you could probably put in your travelers notebooks as well I just want to drink hot chocolate and watch movies and then we have like winter birthday I've already cut out one here and I've just mounted that onto silver card, uh, mirror card. So let's get on with the project. So the project is a lovely little squatty box and I'm calling it a squatty box because we have this feature here at the top where it's flat and it kind of like squats down at the bottom. So it's not completely squatty squatty, but it's kind of like a, store, a, a tall squatty box. Sorry, that was a mouthful. So here is the feature. Now I do have some other projects in here as well that you can make with um, these papers. So this is a hot chocolate um, mug there. So that's a very simple and easy make. And we have the loaf tin. And then we have a couple of scoreboard makes, these two at the bottom here. So this is the... Um, Oh, I don't think it's listed here. They're the small lidded uh, bo bow box. I will put all of these links to all of these other boxes that were made with dies in the description. But this is the box we're making today. Now, the instructions for this one were pretty difficult for me to put down in writing. So I'm really excited to be able to be, bring to be bringing you this video on how to make it. Right, so 
there are instructions and I will leave the dimensions for these in the description box just in case you want to make a quick make it doesn't have to be made with these papers whatsoever so let's choose our papers I know I have one in mind it's this one here love this one so we're going to cut this down to eight and a quarter by ten and a half now I'm using an A4 sheet here so I have printed these off if you want to you can print them off double sided as well you just put your paper in the other way around and then it will print on the other side and I'm using the A4 paper so um, that is going to be eight and a quarter wide by ten and a half I'm just trying to get this lined up nicely okay we'll get rid of that okay grab your scoreboard so this is a really easy scoreboard make so there's no dice for this one so I'm using the creative uh, craft products scoreboard and envelope box maker it comes with this uh, bone folder as well it just slides in at the bottom for storage okay I just need to get my measurements out now so in landscape so with the long side across the top you need to score at three five eight and ten I'll make sure these are linked down below so you can just have a quick uh, scoring and cutting guide and that you can also visit my website here as well where all the information for today will be in one whole big blog post so everything will be there um, okay so three five eight and ten so three five eight and ten right turn once and then we are going to score at two, six, and six and a half. So that's two, six, and six and a half. Now, I've I've had many scoreboards in the past. I have them all still, but this one is probably the easiest one for me to um, find the measurements for this because it's really, really easy. There's no accidentally scoring in the wrong place unless you're really having a bad day, but. Um, these are marked really well so you can just go straight to the measurement that you want I just wanted to point that out because I find that really helpful for myself okay so this just uh, stops back in there okay I'm, I'm moving over to my other bone folder now because this one my hand likes this one this is this is this is my favorite okay so let's score everything now so we're going to fold all of the score lines Do you like these papers let me know what you think of these papers in the comments I mean I'm thinking these papers will look brilliant on uh, cards 3d makes mini albums mini album papers and everything like that so really the versatility of these papers is wonderful okay let's do some cutting now I'm gonna try and save some of my off cuts and place them back in so that you can see what I've cut off at the end there so I'm just going to cut up this little uh, thin strip up here up to the first score line and then I'm going to taper it so I'm just cutting off that section just there it's easier if I push that down okay we're going to do the same on the other side to make a tab here so I'm just going to cut in just there and then down okay put those aside so I can reassemble for you okay so these are going to be our side tabs that fold in and these are going to be the closing flaps okay so the little side tabs that fold in I'm going to taper so I have the score line here attached to this side and then I'm going to notch that in pull that downwards and the score line is attached to that bit that I've just chopped off so now we can just taper the other side do the same on this one again I want that score line here on this side and I'm going to pull that it's very bright I do apologize it's very bright here today so I'm literally cutting off these score lines there we go and these closing flaps need to be completely straight so leave those alone right let's work on the top section now so this part here is going to be my lid 
so we need to get rid of all of this so I will get my pencil and just draw a quick line just to say what I'm chopping off so it's this here so it's that section including that little um, long rectangle along there okay so let's get chopping so I am cutting off the score line with my off cut it's going to be completely attached to this section here now these are going to be absolutely perfect little table gifts and um, teachers gifts let me reassemble now so you can see what I've cut off so I've cut that off I have trimmed that off and I have trimmed that off as well so let me just check my screen so I, I can make sure that you can see everything because everything wants to fold up I'm hoping you can see that clearly enough okay right so I do have an optional thing that you can do here I have a corner rounder and this is the closing lid I'm just going to round those corners okay I love this one because you get the round corner on another on one side and then you have a slot here that you can pop in there and it does a different end so I will make sure this is linked down below okay time for gluing now so I'm going to be using cosmic shimmer today just going to add that to my tab so this is just very simple gluing together now going to fold it up just like that there we go now the cosmic shimmer dries really fast I probably rave about this every single video that I make okay so let's fold these in I'm just going to add glue just to those tabs doesn't need to be much now I want this for the flap at the front to be my last one that I fold in because it's going to give me a nice neat finish at the bottom of the project right at the front there just add your glue along here okay so that's four layers now of cardstock I will also um, leave a link to the paper that I've printed on I get a lot of questions about the paper that I use for printing out on so um, I will make sure that is linked down below okay so you should have something that now looks like that so all we have to do now is just pinch these in let's move that back pinch those in just like that if you want to before you assemble you can add some extra score lines here with a ruler to the center there to each corner but I'm just going to just press that like that and then just a quick dry run to show you how this goes together it goes together just like that so again perfect for teachers gifts and little uh, uh, table gifts as well right so that needs to stay closed so I'm going to be using some velcro if you followed me for a while you know I love these things here I need to buy a new pack um, this is my second pack actually hmm <laughs> I go through these quite a lot so what I do do is oh gosh I've only got three left I better get shopping right so I chop these in half so I get even more usage out of them but even that doesn't stop me from running out so as you can see I make a lot of um, 3d things and samples and things so right I'm just put that's one that I've chopped in half already I've got a few tips for you as well for this so I'm just going to pop that on there press that down give that a good good rub like that okay and now I'll take this section off and then close it try and be careful line everything up here in the top section just so that you don't stick your lid on wonky and then give that a very gentle press and then carefully prise apart your lid use your nail or if you don't have nails you can get a little pencil in there just to separate that as you can see it's starting to come up a little bit so do your best to try and support it without squashing the box okay now we've done that I've got my pencil mark there yeah use a pokey tool something that's not going to leave a mark press that down and then press this one down both sides okay and that is going to 
cause the, uh, the Velcro just to stick onto the paper. It does give you instructions here. It says it's strong after 10 minutes of leaving it on and it's even stronger after 24 hours. Okay, so let's decorate this. Right, let's choose something now. So we have these cut aparts here. We also have a jumper that, that completely blends in, so I can't use that unless I, I kind of create a circle for it to go behind as well. So you can you can get really creative with your nesting circle dies. So what do I do? Decisions, decisions. Um, this would look nice actually with this jumper on as well. And then I can probably do, I've got warm and cozy here sweater weather I think these are all too big so we could do some stamping and onyx black there we go super easy just to add just a little sentiment you can uh, ink that if you want to Okay, so for this one, I've stamped that out with pink ink, and then I, I have just coloured it in as well, just with an, an alcohol pen, just a, in a, a shade lighter. But I know Nikki, the editor for Creative Stamping, she did some lovely whoops, inking here. There you go, she's done some lovely blending there. Okay, quick change of plan. I didn't really like the way that was going and it's absolutely fine to change your mind and go in a different direction. So I'm going to give this a go. If I don't like this one, I'll try something different. So that's kind of how I roll. It's perfectly fine to just abort and find another direction. So I've just die cut another jumper and I'm just uh, stamping on some green there. Now this does have a little tag, so I'm gonna just trim that off. And then I have this warm and cozy that I trimmed out and I'm just inking that up with some Distress Oxide ink in Vintage Photograph. There we go, I'm leaving a little bit, a hint of white there in the center so it brightens up and I'm just going to pop that on there and let's see how this looks yep I'm liking how that looks so let's get this popped together so I'm going to grab myself some foam pads here just the 3d foam pads that might be a bit long oh no that fits just right so I always like to add dimension to my projects just by adding a few foam pads okay so let's pop that on there I am going to glue but if you want to just um, you can use some more foam pads as well I'm only going to add glue just to that part of the lid there pop that on and then we do have a couple of accent dies here that you can use uh, where's the deck where's the die set gone it's right at the bottom here we go we do have some extra bits here that you can layer up onto your uh, jumper I think Nikki's done that as well she's done the mittens here and this little jumper here so you do get these little accent dies that you can add on the top right this needs a little finishing touch so I am going to add a little bow if bows aren't your thing and you prefer something a bit more simple you can just leave it at that I don't have, actually have any pink ribbon I should probably add that to my uh, shopping list so I'm just going to tie this together by doing two little bunny rabbit ears cross them over thread one of them through the loop at the bottom 
and then pull through. And then I just like to size it up just by, by doing that. Make it nice and neat. And if you're not good at tying bows, you can always ask somebody else to do this for you. Um, but I know there's plenty of tutorials on how to do the perfect bow on YouTube. Right, now where are my big scissors? There we go. I'm making a big mess. Nothing's different here. I always make a mess. So I do like to kind of round these out a little bit. Just puff them out a bit and then we can pop that on there. I think that would look even better with a pink bow. But I don't have a pink bow. Okay, so I'm going to use a glue dot actually. I would either use a glue gun or if you have time for this to set, this is the, the Use Cosmic Shimmer. But for instant, stick, just use a glue dot and maybe a little bit of um, extra glue with the glue dot just to keep it in place. I know <coughs> glue dots don't last forever. Just going to pop this on there. There we go. And that is... A really simple and easy scoreboard make. Right, so thank you very much for joining me today. These are lovely little gift boxes. Everything that I've used will be listed down below, including the competition details. But before we disappear, I would like to give you a little sneak peek of my up and coming Christmas launch for 2022. So let's just pop that lid on. Right, are you ready for this? Do you remember the wreath gift box that we had last year? Wow, we have the baby sister here. Here it is. Isn't this gorgeous? And these are my new papers as well. Isn't that great? I absolutely love this. So I've decorated that one with some snowflakes. And I've, just, I've started off another one here as well. So these do open up. And you can fit a whole ton of treats in there. And just slide that back on again. I can't wait to show you the launch. So make sure that you are tuning in on Friday the 8th at 12 30 on the craft stash youtube channel and the craft stash facebook page um if you're following me on social media all the links will be there as well i've already shared those links so make sure you don't miss us for that launch so thank you very much for joining me today if you like this one give me a thumbs up and i'll see you again soon